hiring a proposal planner. It's a new thing. Wedding expert Allison McGill tells us what's involved. So, okay, everybody's familiar with wedding planners now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but this is before you even pop the question. That's right, we all need help with everything these days, as we know, and of course, Annette, it's because social media is so impactful in all of our lives. Everybody wants the moments documented. So hiring a proposal planner, is new-ish. It was happening pre-pandemic, but it's definitely amped up now. We're in the summer of love. Lots of proposals are happening, so you can hire someone to create that magic moment for you if you feel like you don't quite know how to get all those details down. So this person will consult with you. They will find the perfect place. They will put all the details in order for you. It's actually quite brilliant, and I love it. So, you know, it could be intimate. It could be public. It could be a little more quirky. It could be elegant. It's whatever suits your style. And it's a really smart thing to do, particularly if you're a bit stressed about popping the question and you want it to be special, but you're not quite sure how to get it there. Okay, I did a deep dive on the internet. You <laughs> did, for you this, did. For the photos and I'm like, wow, some of them are so extravagant. Very extravagant. I mean, proms have proposals now. Yes, when you, yes. When, you, when, when, yeah. when dates are happening for the prom. Proposals. Proposals. So uh, I just did a story about this for the kit, and I spoke to um, a great proposal planner in Niagara, Niagara Proposals, and she was just saying how much fun she has doing this. She's a wedding planner, and it, she spun this off into her business. And it's just, um, they do it all for you, except for you have to get down on one knee okay. and bring the ring. <laughs> so how do guys or people who are going to propose, how do they like contact one? Right, so you just uh, find a proposal planner. I mean, you know, the internet and, and Instagram is a yeah. great way to find people. And you work with them, you can do as you know, a few days out is 14, six months is a good time window. But, you know, again, these planners are used to planning things like bringing it together like magic for you. And, and they've got the connections with florists, they've got the, the props. Yes, they've and, got they, and they'll take you through the whole process, the whole thought process of what you want, what you want it to look like, and they bring all of that together. And I mean, it's really great because it's a surprise and it hopefully it's like right on brand with you as a couple and what that person is looking for in a proposal. So okay. I think it's really sweet. Uh, I know, Annette, you're saying proposal planners, Allison. Really? This is a thing? <laughs> it is a thing. Saying. It is a thing. She, <laughs> Annette, you really did say this to me. Um, so as I said, you just, they do it all for you, and then you show up, do the proposal, and... And it's all documented there. And, and you go right ring. to social media. And go then, right, right to social media. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I couldn't talk about this topic, of course, without bringing some rings. So I brought some rings with me today um, from Burks. And these are beautiful, gorgeous rings that are a, a fit for everyone. So we've got some great stackable bands oh, happening right. here. So the, it's, not, it's not for a woman, it's not for a guy, it's, it's for... It's, it's for everyone. Like, these are real, real beautiful unisex rings. They, they really are, and I mean, the great thing about these types of rings, lots of eternity bands here. So um, we have, you know, up on this upper row, I know you and I really love this ring here. Yes. It's called the Burke's Dare to Dream. It has uh, three types of gold, lots of texture on it. And it looks like it's stacked, it, but it isn't. It, it isn't. It's all, it's all fused together. And you can add a solitaire to that if you want, or you can add more bands. I, you know, we love the stacking trend, which mm -hmm. is really great. Um, lots of eternity bands. This one here is, is a double set diamond channel. Um, we have single here. This one has almost about two carats of diamond, so tons of sparkle. Uh, another eternity band here. All of these rings look so great stacked. And you know, I love the simple gold band too. It's yes. got like almost a grow grain ribbon texture to it. Can be used as a wedding band, could be an engagement ring. I really love this one on the end, the white gold this with a right? half carat, brilliant cut diamond set, really simple, just gives a lot of shine. But this is an opportunity to really tell your love story by stacking bands and just really making it your own. And, and I mean, these bands are so beautiful. Like you don't necessarily need an engagement ring to it. Like that could be your engagement ring and exactly. your wedding It band, could be right? the one iconic ring. It could be the engagement ring. And that's what I love about telling stories with your jewelry. And yeah. Burks has done a beautiful job of really bringing all of this together and making you create your own love story. And like, as we say, we love this band that looks like it's stacked, but it's not, but you can stack it higher. And you can add a solitaire if you want that extra bling. Okay. You've got so many, you're so wise about the wedding industry, <laughs> and, and I know you do your own podcast, the ILC. I do do my own podcast, that drops every Thursday, so we're talking about destination romance, actually, for the next couple of, of uh, episodes, which is great, because it's got everybody dreaming about destination weddings and romantic travel. Okay. Because I think 
we all were at home with our partners during the pandemic, but we didn't necessarily connect. Yeah. So yeah. we need a getaway. You know, you just had one. I did, I did. It was very romantic with eight people. <laughs> There's a story. It There's was a, a, story. It was a tiny wedding into it was, itself. Uh, it was. Okay, so we'll get uh, all your links up on our website at chch.com slash morning live. <laughs>